हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू ऑल हैप्पी मॉर्निंग रिहाउ टुडे आर लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स टू लर्न अबाउट द रेट लॉ फॉर द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन इंटीग्रेटेड ले रेट लॉ फॉर द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन इंटीग्रेटेड फर्स्ट वी लर्न अबाउट द इंटीग्रेटेड रेट इक्वेशन देन यू लर्न अबाउट द डेफिनेशन फॉर द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर रिएक्शन फर्स्ट पावर फर्स्ट पावर टाइम ओके बिफोर दैट अ आवर टेक्स्ट बुक हैव इन बॉडी सपोर्ट द ऑर्डर ऑफ द रिएक्शंस and the body support the molecularity of the reaction and about what are the differences between order and molecular of the reaction that we, we can be learn after finishing this integrated rate law for the first order reaction then we can be learn that question and now it's a very important question for the five mark question the integrated rate law for the first order reaction is a very 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 important five mark question so you should be learn this question Please, all of you, take the note. We can be write the equation. After writing, we can be learn the uh, differences between order of the reaction and also the molecularity of the reaction. Please, all of you, take the note. Okay, today our learning objectives to learn about the integrated rate law for the first order reaction. Integrated rate law for a first order reaction. First of all. You should be learn what is the integrated integrated rate equation. What is about the integrated rate equation? Here, the rate of change of concentration of the reactant is directly proportional to that of concentration of the reactant. Okay. What is about the integrated rate equation? The rate of change of concentration of the reactant. The rate of the rate of change of change of concentration of the reactant is directly proportional to to that. of concentration of the reactant okay what is that the rate of change of concentration of the reactant is directly proportional to the to that of concentration of reactant for example we can be consider a gives products Okay, here A is for X. The rate law is equal to rate is equal to rate is equal to minus d A by d T minus the d A by d T. That is equal to K into A power one. Okay, that is K into A power. We can be taken as one. Other is called we can be taken as X. That is really easy. A power x. Okay. Here, what is about the k? What is about the k? K is called rate constant. Rate constant. What is about the k? K is the rate constant. And x, x is the order, order, order of the reaction. Okay, and we can write the above equation. The differential equation means it can be taken as minus d a by minus d a by d t. Okay, this is the differential equation minus d a by d t. It gives the rate of any instant. Okay, rate at any instant. Okay, let us we can be write. The integrated law for the first order reaction is a very important question. Integrated law for the first order reaction. It's a very important question. That is the today learning objectives. Please kindly learn all of you. What is the integrated rate law for the first order reaction? I think that this is a five mark question. Okay.
in that created last form the first order reaction previously i told you the reaction whose rate depends on the in reactant the rate depends on the reactant concentration raised to the first power okay the first power is called the first order reaction okay that means rate depends on the reactant concentration concentration raised to the first power first power is called first order reaction you can be say first order is reaction Okay, the rate depends here. First of all, you should write the integrated rate for the first order reaction. Integrated rate for the first order reaction. First of all, you should write the definition for the first order reaction. What is the word the first order reaction? The rate the rate depends on the reaction concentration raised to the first power. It is called first order reaction. Am I right? Let us we can be consider the first order reaction. That means A gives the product. How will you write the rate law? The rate law is expressed as rate is equal to K power one. This power one represent the first order reaction. What is about the K? K is the rate constant. K is called what? Rate constant. Okay. Anyhow, we are applying the integrated rate equation that is minus d a by d t is equal to k into a. K into a. Okay. This is equal to k into a the power one okay we are in the in the change okay the a term will be here and it is there okay so what's the value is equal to minus d a by here a come down okay a equal to k d t okay k d t here we are integrating the this equation we have to integrate the equation number 1 integrate integrate equation 1 so we are taking two limits upper limits and lower, lower limits am i right we are taking the two limits we are taking time time t is equal to 0 and time is equal to t we are taking two limits and one more concentration varies for initial concentration 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 we are taking a not a not and the latter time we are taking a these are the two limits we are taking and integrate this equation number one on integrating equation number one First of all, we are integrating. Equation number one integrating. That is minus of d a by d t is equal to integrating. First, we write the k. Here I am k. Okay, k. And integration of d t. I told you about that two limits we are taking for the concentration. That what is uh, a naught? And another, another one is a a. Okay. And about the t, t I told you about that t is equal to c o and t. Okay. The two limits we are taking. So the next step is we are taking we are taking lamp. Okay. Lamp. 
ln of a naught ln of a naught and also first we should be a take a not a naught log a okay yeah, log a this a naught and a a naught a equal to k c two variables okay second step we are multiplying ln a log n is minus ln a naught is equal to k k here we should be multiplying k t k t minus 0 k into c 0 this is the next step ok then first step taking ln a here it should be minus into plus we get minus into minus we get plus ln a naught is equal to kt k into t kt ok otherwise can be take commonly we can be take log L, ln ln a by sorry a naught by a a naught by a, okay. a naught by a is equal to kt okay but here it is a ln that means we are saying natural logarithm okay ln okay not log ln see it is a natural logarithm so we should be converted into usual logarithm normal logarithm that means usual log logarithmic base term so we have to multiply by 2.303 multiply by 2.303 okay so we get 2.303 log that is converted to now log a naught by a is equal to kt is equal to k yeah. now we should be have to arrange rearrange the above equation we are going to rearrange the above equation that is k is equal to k we are we have to take k k is equal to 2.303 2.303 by t log a naught by a okay. Okay. this is the equation then one more point from equation 2 ln is equal to that is natural logarithm that is ln is ln ln a naught divided by a equal to kt from equation 2 am I right? from equation 2 from equation 2 okay a, ln a naught by a is equal to kt here this equation can be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus z ok this equation can be where that is ln a naught by a is equal to kt this equation can be written in the form of y is equal to mx plus c ok how means that is ln a naught a naught minus ln a is equal to kt clear ln ln a naught minus ln a is equal to kt can be written as ln a naught minus ln a equal to kt ok here we take ln a ok so ln a equal to ln ln a naught minus kt minus k that implies that y equal to c plus m x 
and above we have no explanation about that the reaction is by measuring the concentration of the reactant at the regular intervals regular time intervals t we have to plot these two values that means ln a and time we have to plot uh, time versus ln a not we need to plot these two values ln a and the time t time t in minutes we are plotting we get one of the negative slope from the graph from this graph this also important try to learn this one okay here we go we have to plot this one that is the graph we are drawing the graph in the x axis and also the y axis here we are taking ln a okay here time time in minutes start at the zero the zero next one 10 Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, etc., etc. Okay, and we are starting. Uh, can we start with minus two? Minus two, minus one point five, zero. One point five, one point five. Next one, minus one. Next zero point five minus zero point five zero. Okay. We are plotting this graph. When you are plotting, we get uh, one of the negative slope. Okay, negative slope. One of the negative slope. Okay, these are the points. Okay, try to draw this one. These are the points. Okay. Because these are the points we get. Okay, that means. The concentration of the reaction at the regular time interval t, we are plot against with the ln a versus the time time t uh, that is in minutes. We get a straight line, a, a negative this is a negative slope. From this, we can be also calculated the rate constant. Rate constant also we can be calculated. Okay, that is one of the method. And next about we can be learn. Try to learn this question. The integrated rate law for the first order reaction. Integrated rate law for the first order reaction. We can discuss the decomposition of di-nitrogen pentoxide. The very important question, uh, very important for the three mark questions. Maybe ask the two mark question. Okay. First one is about the decomposition of. The decomposition of di-nitrogen pentoxide. The decomposition of di-nitrogen pentoxide. Okay. Can you simply write the equation? N two O five N two O five. This is a gaseous state. Gives N O two because there are two nitrogen. There is two N O two gas plus half O two gas. This is the first equation. Okay. Next one. Decomposition of sulfuryl chloride. Decom decomposition of sulfuryl chloride. There is 
SO2 Cl2. Okay, SO2 Cl2. This is a liquid state. Okay, sulfuryl sulfuryl chloride SO2 Cl2. It is converted into SO2 gas plus Cl2 gas. Decomposition of sulfuryl chloride. Okay, next one. Decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. What is the formula for hydrogen peroxide? H2O2 hydrogen peroxide. Decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. That can be written as H2O2. This is an aqueous state. Okay. Aqueous state. It is converted to hydrogen peroxide. It is converted to liquid. Am I right? That is water. Okay. Water liquid. And also have one more option. Half O2 gaseous state. Okay. Gaseous state. Next about isomerization. Cyclopropane to propane. Cyclopropane. Am I right? That is the isomerization. Cyclopropane to cyclopropane. Okay. Sorry. Cyclopropane to propane. That is a double bond. Yen. Yen. Double bond. Okay. These are the examples of what? The first order reaction. What is about the first order reaction? One of the examples of first order reaction. What is N2O5? What is about N2O5? That is dihydrogen pentoxide. Dihydrogen pentoxide is converted into nitrogen dioxide and also one of the gaseous molecules. And about sulfuryl chloride. Sulfuryl chloride. Don't forget that the decomposition of sulfuryl chloride, SO2Cl2, is a liquid state. It is converted to sulfur dioxide gas and also chlorine gas. And also next one is the hydrogen peroxide. Here it is converted to uh, water and also oxygen gas. Cyclopropane is converted to propane. And also I told you about that. The what is how much temperature we are applying? Don't forget that 780. Okay, 780 Kelvin. Okay, 780 Kelvin. This is the temperature about that. And next we have to learn about that the molecularity of the reactions, the very important question. Uh, and especially it is for the differences between molecularity and about the order of the reaction. So that is a very important question. What is the differences between molecularity and also the order of the reaction? Molecularity. Here, what is about the molecularity of the reaction? Before that, we should be write the elementary reaction. What is about the elementary reaction? Each reaction, each and every single step reactions in the reaction mechanism, we are calling elementary reaction. Each and every single step reaction. Okay. Each and every single step reaction. Every single step. Single step reaction is called as an elementary reaction. What is about the elementary reaction? Each and every single step in a reaction is called elementary reaction. Okay, anyhow. The elementary step is characteristic by its molecularity. What is about the molecularity? How can you learn about the molecularity? The total number of reactant species that are involved in the elementary reactions are called as molecularity reaction. Okay? Let us see can we understand how can you write the elementary reaction? That means the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Now only I told you about that hydrogen peroxide. What is the formula for? Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Okay, this is an aqueous state. Okay, here the hydrogen peroxide is converted into water. Water is a liquid state. Okay, water is a liquid state. 
you should have to balance the equation that i will tell you later water is converted what here hydrogen peroxide is converted into water and also oxygen gas how to balance the equation here one of the catalyst we are using that is called iodine iodine iodide ion okay now in the experiment we found that the reaction is a first order with respect to both hydrogen peroxide and iodine which indicates that i is involved in, in this reaction first we have to learn the mechanism of this reaction what is the mechanism the mechanism is uh, the mechanism is doing two step the first step is what is the step one that is a hydrogen peroxide plus iodide ion okay first the reaction will be iodide ion with one half an oxygen one half an oxygen so what will be the product h2o liquid state okay here what is the liquid state and also o one of the o and iodine okay iodine that is o iodine okay yes this is also aqueous state okay this is the first step what is about the step 2 the hydrogen peroxide again reacts with the o i step 2 hydrogen peroxide again reacts with o i is here both of them are aqueous state o i here also aqueous state here what is the reaction here ready we get water liquid and also we get oxygen here one of an oxygen combines this other oxygen to form o2 so we get h2o liquid state plus iodine plus oxygen okay plus oxygen here also uh, we can be say it's also aqueous here also is a gaseous state now we can be right overall reaction what is about the overall reaction how can you write the overall reaction before that we can be cancel the which are the possibility for cancel that is uh, opposite side which we cancel okay we write the overall reaction But what are the possibility for writing the overall reaction? Uh, we can be cancel opposite opposite cancel. Okay. Uh, which are the possibility? Here having O I and easily cancel, easily cancel. Okay. And also hydrogen peroxide. Step one, step two, hydrogen peroxide. Hey. so we can write hydrogen peroxide h2 o2 hydrogen peroxide uh, here also we cancel i i and i also cancel okay i and i also cancel next thing is having water water oxygen oxygen okay we cannot cancel h2o2 aqueous gives so how much water is there Two water is there, so it's right. Two water. Two water. This is liquid state plus one half an oxygen. Would two gas. So what is the overall reaction? Overall reaction. How much hydrogen peroxide? Here also I have two hydrogen peroxide. So overall reaction is two hydrogen two O two. Okay, in aqueous solution, aqueous gives how much water? Two water. Two water molecules, liquid plus one of an oxygen. This is the overall reaction. Okay, overall reaction for the molecularity. Okay, here go. These two reactions are elementary reaction. That is step two, step one and step two are the we can be say uh, the elementary reactions and adding equation one and two. We are adding. The equation one and two is called the overall reaction. 
Here, step one is the rate determining step. Okay, and the step one is what? Rate determining step. It involves both the H2O2 and I minus. It's all overall reaction. It's a bimolecular reaction. It's a reaction. Bimolecular reaction. Anyhow, one of the great important question, very important question, differences between order and molecularity of the reaction. Very important question. Differences between order and molecularity of the reaction. One of the primary question, differences between order and molecularity of a reaction. Okay, first one, again we split into two. The first one is the order of a reaction. Molecularity Okay, first one is Order of the reaction previously I told you about that It is the sum of the power of concentration Okay, what is the first point? It is the Sum sum of the powers of of concentration times involved in the experimentally determined rate law Molecularity means total number of species, don't forget that. Total number of reactant species in an elementary, involved in an elementary step. Okay, this is about the, the total total number of reactant species. This is are involved in an elementary step. Okay. What is about the first point? Order of the reactions and also the molecularity of the reaction. Order of the reaction and also about the molecularity of the reaction. What is about the order of the reaction? It is the sum, sum is total, okay. Sum of the power of concentration times involved in the experimental determination of rate law. Experimental determin experimentally determined, determined rate law. That is about the total number of species, the molecularity. Don't forget that. It is the total number of species are involved in the involved in the elementary steps. The second point, it can be CO, that is order, order can be CO or fractional. Fractional or integral. Are in there, okay? Here, next one is it is always whole number. It is always what? Whole number. And it cannot be zero. Cannot be zero. Or 
और ये फ्रैक्शनल नंबर और ये ओके देन व्हाट इज अबाउट द थर्ड पॉइंट अबाउट दैट द ऑर्डर ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज असाइंड फॉर द ओवरऑल रिएक्शन here order of rea reaction it is assigned assigned for a overall reaction okay it is assigned for an overall reaction here i will tell you molecularity okay it is assigned for each elementary step of mechanism now we will be discuss that one Each elementary, each elementary step of mechanism. Each step, each elementary. Another step of mechanism. Okay. The first is, is a very important question. It is a Gandhi question, very important. Repeat the board exam question. Difference is between order of the reaction. Difference is between order of the reactions and about the molecular of the reaction. What is about the order of the reaction? It is the sum of power. Don't forget that. It is the sum of powers of concentration times. Involved in the experimental determination of rate law. Determined rate law. Okay, very important question. About the molecularity of the reaction. What is about the molecularity of the reaction? It is the total number of reactant species are involved in an elementary step. What is about the molecularity of the reaction? It is the total number of reactant species are involved in an elementary steps here or of the reaction it can be zero or fractional here the molecularity of the reaction it may be it cannot be zero or a fractional number but it is a whole number next about the third point about the order of the reaction it is assigned for an overall reaction here the order of the reaction is assigned for an overall reaction that is the molecularity it is an elementary step of mechanism it is assigned for each elementary step of mechanism we have uh, today our learning objectives to learn about the integrated rate law for the first order reaction integrated rate law for the first order reaction is a very important question and also the differences between order and molecularity of the reaction this is also a very important question so please uh, learn this question if you are learning this question means you should be asked in the public board exam question so try to learn this question the two question is very very important please all of you try to learn this question and write the assignment okay anyhow i am giving the assignment the both the two question assignment today assignment assignment Uh, learn about integrated rate law for a first order reaction. Second one, the differences between. differences between differences between order and the molecularity of the reaction of the reaction when get it up please all of you learn this course is a very important If you are learning one question one day, means it's very useful for you. Okay, getting out time, well, time. Have a nice day.